At six years old, I was diagnosed with dyslexia, uh, which I felt like defined me for many years. And I struggled through high school with grades because of it. After high school, um, I realized I didn't want to go into a degree where I sat at a desk and wanted to do something more with my life. And so I decided to move out to Washington and packed up my car. And when I got there, I ended up getting a, a job before I had an apartment. And, use that job to be able to get enough money to be able to get an apartment so I didn't have to continue living out of my car. Living out of my car was really challenging because I never knew where I was going to stay that night and had to find somewhere new each night to park my car so that nobody could find me. Uh, I really wanted to go to Lane Community College because it had such a good reputation with the nursing program and the community looks at it as such a prestigious school because of how challenging it can be to get in. I decided to move down to Eugene and started taking the prerequisites for the Lane Nursing Program. Within a few years, I was able to do well in those prerequisites and got accepted to the Lane Nursing Program, which meant a lot because it was something that I worried I would never be able to do. I was able to maintain a 3.85 GPA throughout the nursing program. Uh, around TESS, it gets really busy with schoolwork, so it's been really nice to be able to take a step back because of the scholarships. Uh, from work so I don't have to work quite as much during those times. I got interested in nursing when I started a job in Washington as a CNA working with Alzheimer's and dementia patients and found a real love for those patients and feel like I understand them in a different level than other people do and I think a big reason for that is because of my dyslexia and my ability to understand them I think comes back to my dyslexia. and. I wanted to take that next step by turning it into a career. My goal is to open up an adult foster care, and there's such a big need for that care for those patients because they fall into a gap where in our society they don't get the care that they actually need. And I think I can create a home that will help them thrive and not just live out the last years of their lives.